What's up, Dos Pueblos? I'm Jude Cotty here with... Sage Honickman. And Max Fang. Honoring Matt Ogin and Joel Benson with their grand opening film, Madu. Let's get right into it. It, it, it seems like a lot. You traveled around the world, went to Nigeria. Um, what would you say is the biggest obstacle in your uh, like directing the film and just like seeing it on the screen? And how'd you overcome them? And same as we for you. I think filmmaking is obstacles. You know, especially documentaries. So it's like people have asked us that. Like, what's the biggest challenges? And I don't know. They all seem we've both made in films independently from each other. This is our first time partnering and collaborating with each other, but even co-directing and. Everything in life is a challenge. Look at Anthony. Um, but I like it. Just comes with it. Like that filmmaking is obstacles. That's that's part of it. So I don't I don't really look at it as obstacles because it's just expected. Like you know. I mean, he he said it all. But I, I you know, for us, having never co-directed before, you know, that was something that we had to navigate. You know, um, <clears throat> when you make a film like this with two directors, you bring different perspectives, right? And I think the biggest challenge is how do you align, you know, and, and have one vision, even though you have different approaches, right? And still keep that mutual respect, you know, um, for each other and achieve the, the goal. So, you know, that was, that was something that we had to navigate. But, you know, by the, you know, first, second week, you know, we were cool and talking all the time, having constant conversations, and, and yeah. So for a young, aspiring you know, filmmaker like myself and other people in, in the program, what would you say is, uh, like, what, what tips would you say to give to them? So go do it, man. Go do it. Go yeah, do it. Stuff. Pick up that camera, go out there and shoot. You're going to make mistakes. Embrace the process, all right? Embrace the highs and the lows. Embrace the failures. It's all part of it, man. It's, it's yeah. a progress, not perfection, right? Yeah. So just make stuff. I mean, like... I always say if you don't have a, a, a budget, then write something that fits your budget. You know, don't, don't do 50 scenes and 100 extras. Like, write something that takes place in a room. You know, write something that, that is doable because it can still be powerful. If the story is strong, the character is strong, the performances are strong, it doesn't matter what you film it on. And I would say also find people that believe in your vision. You need a team, you need people who believe. Right. And if you find people who believe, money payment wouldn't be their priority. You understand what I mean? So, yeah. Hi, my name is Kachi Benson, and this is Matt Ogens, and you're watching uh, DP, DP News. News. <laughs> um, you know, the job of producer in every film always changes. So, um, on this one, uh, you de you're dealing with so many different things. I mean, this one was one that I actually discovered an Instagram video, which was the beginning of this process. So, it became finding the director and finding the studio to finance it, which we got lucky and Disney did, and then all the different hurdles as you go and actually make the film, you know, shooting in Nigeria, shooting in England, uh, which had its own complications. So it was, you know, you never know what's gonna be a hurdle, what's gonna come at you, and this one had uh, a ton of them. So you're the one that found the Instagram video. So how long ago was that? I think it was like three and a half, three and a half years ago, yeah. How long did shooting take, and then how long do you have to wait for the edit to come in? It was about a two-year process, approximately, from starting shooting to finishing the edit and the sound mix and the color correction. And then the logistical of shooting, actually, in Nigeria, uh, which is a complicated place to shoot, and then going back and forth between England and Nigeria. So those are probably the most challenging issues on this film. Okay, now I kind of want to shift to the student aspect. Again, I'm part of the Dos Pueblos News Program. We make a news show every day for all the students in the school. What advice would you give to, you know, someone that wants to get into industry? It's super competitive. It's a lot of work. What advice would you give to a student wanting to get in? Well, obviously, depending on what job you're most passionate about, that changes a little bit. But the most important thing is kind of working towards your craft as much as you can on your own. And then also meeting people, keeping up those relationships, coming to the, if there's a film festival in your area, coming to the film festival, talking to people, making relationships. I mean, ultimately, your talent is the thing that's going to, whether you want to be a writer, or a director, or a producer, or an actor, it's going to be your talent. But it's obviously helpful if you can make a connection and find someone who you can kind of reach out to, someone who can mentor you. Um, but ultimately, a lot of the times, you can just do this stuff on your own. I mean, especially the way things work today, you know, there are films that are award-winning that are shot on iPhones. So go make something. Always be doing something. It sounded very interesting. What did you do? I went 30 days without digital technology. No phone, no iPad, 
no computer. That's, <laughs> how was that? First few days were difficult, yeah. uh, otherwise it wasn't too bad for me, but everybody around me got frustrated with me, my wife. <laughs> and coming back into the world, did you, did you stay off of it? Did your screen time go down? What happened? So what I did was, um, by the end of the film, what I did was I took all the apps off my phone. Okay, yeah. I still have social media, but on my laptop screen, not on my phone. So right now I'm talking to you, I'm not getting pinged, yeah. okay? I'm talking to you, I'm present with you, not getting pinged. But when I get home tonight, I'll check my social media for about half an hour. And I've been doing that now for about a year and a half. You have an idea and you want to put it on the screen. You don't have the budget, you don't have the actors. You know, you just have your cell phone, maybe rent a camera, don't have much money. How do you put that on the screen? Well, I think now it's a lot, I don't want to use the word easier, but it is a bit easier because obviously technology, you know, phones, phones are so good these days, you know, you, you attach a mic to your phone and you can, go, you can go away and shoot. And that's probably the best way to go, right? Get Shoot it. You'll learn by shooting. You'll learn more by shooting than by talking about it, you know? And who cares if you make mistakes? Who cares? Just shoot it, put it together in the editing suite, and then you'll learn. You know, even if it's a short film, a two-minute film, a four-minute film, it doesn't really matter. Just do it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, it's good to meet you. That's all. We got a bunch of amazing interviews. Again, I'm Jude Cotty. I'm Sage Honickman. Max Fang. We're about to go watch the film Madhu. I'll see y'all later.